Greetings everyone, my name is Reza Seya. I'm an Iranian-American journalist based here in Iran. Uh, I worked as a journalist in the U.S. for about 11 years and for the past decade I've worked as a journalist in this region, the Middle East mostly, in Northern Africa. My name is Gela Rekiazan. I'm a freelance videographer as well as documentary filmmaker. I've been working in this region since 2003 and now I'm based in Tehran. Uh, we are very fortunate to be working with the Pulitzer Center for Crisis Reporting and PBS NewsHour to do a report on Iran's growing presence and influence uh, in Iraq. Uh, ever since the 2003 U.S.-led invasion uh, of Iraq, Washington has sounded the alarm and expressed a lot of concern about Iran's presence uh, and influence uh, in Iraq. We were in Iraq for two weeks. We went to Karbala to follow the pilgrimage, Arbaim. They say this is the largest public gathering in the world, and I think it really drove home uh, Iran's religious presence yeah. there. From there we went to Iraqi Kurdistan. And we saw Iranian culture there as well. We then met the PMF, the Popular Mobilization Force. The PMF, of course, is the Iranian-backed armed militia. So again, another indication of Iran's influence and presence there, uh, this time their security presence. What we learned uh, during this trip to Iraq is that without question, uh, Iran has a presence and has influence in Iraq. However, as is often the case, we found that Iran's presence in Iraq is not as simplistic as what the U.S. government presents. We think this report on Iran's influence in Iraq is especially important for the American audience. Of course, it's the American taxpayer that's paid more than a trillion dollars for the conflict, for the war, the U.S. has lost nearly 5,000 troops, more than 30,000 U.S. troops uh, have been injured, hundreds of thousands uh, of civilians uh, have also been killed, uh, all predicated on a claim that Iraq had a stockpile of weapons of mass destruction, a claim that turned out to be false. Once again, seemingly, the U.S. government uh, is making claims. This time the claim is that Iran is playing a destabilizing role. This series examines those claims. What is Iran's role in Iraq? What is it doing there? What does it intend to do? Uh, is it destabilizing the country and how does this all uh, impact U.S. strategy moving forward? These are all important questions. We hope this series answers some of those questions and more importantly sparks uh, a debate uh, about a country where the U.S. and the West has been involved with and spent a lot of money on for a very long time. Thank you again, Pulitzer Crisis Center for reporting and the PBS NewsHour. We hope you get to tune in to our three-part series.